Hey, Steven Ostrowski with the Trimble BCFS and Building Point Teams. Going to show you how to use the X7 laser scanner with FieldLink to capture and work with scan data in the field. This video will show the advantages of scanning formwork in aggregate uh, to make sure the elevation is set correctly throughout and you aren't pouring too much concrete or that your ADA ramp is hitting the right slope. Um, as we move into the 3D view here, uh, you can start to see the scan and model as well as the multiple scans we took throughout the two days with local 404 in Cleveland here. I'm um, going to jump in and show uh, the section box piece. You can start to see inside the, um, the warehouse uh, as well as prep the data by turning off some of these layers that I don't want to compare. Um, by turning on just the aggregate scans as well as the top of concrete, um, I will be able to compare with the uh, inspection feature in version 5.8 of FieldLink um, to show me and colorize those scan points for the distance they are away from the closest model component, giving me a good idea of uh, the high and low spots compared to that um, white concrete on the top there with the aggregate below. So once this is done, um, I can turn off the solid model and then you'll be able to see essentially in blue where the aggregate is uh, two to three inches for this three inch slab that's about perfect and then in gold is about four inches so for the three different uh, teams we have here and the three different slabs you can see the one in the middle is still working and putting down more aggregate uh, but you can see essentially where they may need to apply some more um, as well as seeing on the outside here that uh, the formwork is in the correct spot um, to within one inch I can bring this down to a very tight tolerance and actually zoom in and show you even more of that as well so you can see the top of that formwork with this is within a quarter inch um, these scans for the aggregate uh, being that there's three of them I probably did low level scans of the pictures took about two and a half minutes each um, and to register probably took another couple minutes so I'd say around 10-15 minutes is all it took to collect this um, this is a smaller area but if it was I guess more open I could actually do a comparison for a much larger pour um, we will show you how to convert these scan points to grid components that you can then go lay out either with your um, X7 laser pointer, your SPS 986 GPS receiver if you're outdoor, or your RTS 573 or 673 um, when you're inside. So uh, thanks and look for more videos showing you how we can uh, accomplish your FFFL reports um, as well as doing some more of that surface analysis.